So the challenges are that we as human beings, uh, we like to think in silos. So, oh, this is a financial transaction. This is the department which is doing the suspicious transaction reports. But hey, this is a financial transaction for tainted narcotics. That's points at narcotics, which is happening outside of our country, but with institutions which are involved in our country. So who is responsible? And that's the challenge where, as mentioned, um, criminal activities are global from day one. Technology is global from day one, but regulation, our responsibilities are not. And it doesn't really matter in my profession what we have learned today or yesterday, because I know in three days time, I will get an email about some kind of a business model um, from some kind of a virtual asset service provider that is doing things that I didn't think are possible. So technology starts to merge together. Um, and sometimes it's very exciting. Let's say you can buy for a lot of 3D printed frames um, that you can use for your 3D printer. You can buy them. You can you can buy them with crypto, but you can you can buy narcotics with crypto too, and you can pay with child sexual abuse. I know that um, illicit activities are a very small part of the entire transactions. So depending on who you ask, we don't have that, that good of estimations, but we have by far, by less than 5%, we're even by less than 1% of illicit transactions. But it's still a responsibility for us as a society to go after those transactions and make sure that we close those loopholes because this 1% can really damage whatever we have created here and can uh, impact our kids, can impact the society that we work with. And we actually, in this workshop, focus a little bit on this 1% of whatever can get wrong, right? Like we are analyzing all of the car accidents in Riga, and we try to understand what we can do in order to prevent them. We know we are not able to prevent all of them, but maybe there is something that we can do in order to make sure to create seat belts, right? So Mika is a bit of a seat belt of a, um, of a, of a regulation for, for crypto asset service providers.